Lesson 70, Solving Radical Equations. So we're just going to teach it by showing examples. So we're going to take the square root of x minus 25 equals 2. So we begin by squaring both sides. So the square of a square root is just the radicand. And 2 squared will be 4. Then we solve for x just like we normally do x equal 29. And then when you are solving radical equations, you always check your answer. Um, you want to check for extraneous solutions. So another example, if we have the square root of 3x minus 17 minus 2 equals 6, we want to solve the equation so that the square root symbol is the only one on one side of the equal sign. So in other words, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and I get the square root of 3x minus 17 equals 8. Then we square both sides. Oh, I forgot to show you checking this answer. If you put 29 in, you get square root of 4, which is 2. So that's true. Add 17. So 3x equals 81. Divide by 3. x equals 27. So we need to check it. 3 times 27 is 81. Minus 17 is 64. Square root of 64 is 8. Minus 2 is 6, so it works. Voila. Okay, now sometimes you have more than one square root in your... Now, wait a minute. Where did that 3 come from? Just a minute. Everybody, nobody panic. I've got this under control. Oh no. That's weird. This example that I have right here, it's a cubed root and I don't understand why. Why not? I don't know. Wait, how do you solve both the square root and the cube root? I don't know. I'm looking at what I did here. Ha ha! So, you, I don't know what I did. How did I get that? I added this to this side, so I got the square root minus 3 equals the cubed root negative 10x. Okay. No, wait. I think if you raise this to the sixth power. There would be. There'd be. You need the subjugate. You need to times the whole thing by that one subjugate. Wait, it's called the conjugate. Conjugate. Wait, what's this? Well, I don't know why I wrote this one down because now for some reason. Wait, I've got an idea. Nobody. Okay, look. In, do we have an example of one like this? That has both a square root and a cubed root. I'm not sure. You don't. Um, oh wait, it's like example three. three. That's just two radicals. Ah, uh -huh. example three c. Exactly. Okay, so this is what we did. Huh. Got it. So you plug it into your calculator and graph it. Mm -hmm. I know. 
So the only way they're equal is where they intersect. So if you do the square root of 2x plus 1, per, end your parentheses, minus 3, and then do the y equals cubed root of negative 10x, graph them, you will get where they intersect. You can do a second calculate intersect. So let me see how we do this really quick. We will do the square root of 2x plus 1, end parentheses, minus 3. And then we'll go down and we'll do the cubed root of, um, do you guys remember, no? oh, there it is, number 4, cubed root of negative 10x, end parentheses. Then we graph, and I'm zoomed all the way in, which really is the pit. So let me zoom back out. I have an idea. I'm trying it, yeah. Zero. What? It's zero. It's not zero. Zoom pin is zero. What do you mean zero? I already hit it. Oh, oh, it's zero. Okay, never mind. So where they intersect. Oh, I got it. Aha, right there. Whoa, why did you crack it? Then we're going to do second calculate. Yeah, it probably does. So I'm going to make oh. this the first curve. And that the second curve. Wait a minute. Guess? Yes. Okay, can you go to your y equals? I want to see how it's different than mine. Okay, it's 0. 0.435. Oh, that's what I got. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my y equals so you guys can see. Uh, no. Wait, type mine in. Cartoon mode. Is it supposed to be in degree or radian? I don't know. I don't think it matters. Wait. No, I'm not. That's what it says. I'm not doing that one. I'm doing the one from my example in my book. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now. This up or what? Because look, all this is typed in, right? Um, 2x plus 1. Yeah. Minus 3. And then the cube. It's a negative 10x. Well, I got it right. No. It uh, wasn't typed in. Okay, another example is if you have two square roots. You're wrong. Are you talking in third person? Then we can add. You get them so there's one on each side so that you can square both sides. Then when you square both sides, you get the radicands need to be equal to each other. And then we subtract the x. Add the 7. 19 plus 7 is like 20 something. 26. Then we need to just plug it back in and double check. Double 26 is 52. Plus 19 is 71. And then <coughs> the square root, so 3 times 26. Minus 7 is 71. So the square root of 71 minus square root of 71 equals 0. So this one works. Okay, I'm going to do two more examples. So sometimes they give you a, whoops, don't square it yet. Whoops, don't drop that down either. Uh, I know, huh? Okay, so I just want the x plus 3. Ugh. There we go. Okay, x plus 3 equals the square root of 6x plus 13. Now when we square both sides, we have to realize that this is a binomial that we're going to have to expand. So we get x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 6x plus 13. Oh, that's convenient. So we subtract the 6x, and that goes to 0, subtract the 13 and we get a negative 4. Oh, sweet. x squared minus 4 equals 0. This is the difference of two squares. And then x can be plus or minus 2. So we have to plug it back in. So 2 plus 3 is 
5. 12 plus 13 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. Then if we plug in a negative, a negative 2, we get a 1. A negative 12 plus 13 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. So it works, both of them. One more example where we can get an extraneous solution. Neither of those work. Oh, okay. So if we have, let me see where it is. Yeah, that one. Square root of x plus 5 equals 1. So we get the square root by subtracting 5. Then we can square both sides. And if you plug in 16 for x, square root of 16 is 4, plus 5 is 9, it doesn't equal 1. So there's no solutions. It's an extraneous solution. Or if you were at this step and you say, wait a minute, you can't have a negative square root, you would know right there there's no solution. But sometimes kids like to just do the process without really paying attention to what's happening. So if you're that way and you just process all the way down, don't forget to plug it back in. So, okay, that's it. Wait.